Who is your soulmate? Do you have a divine partnership? Today we're going to find out because these words have been coming up so much recently in all of our readings. So today I felt led by spirit to do a soulmate divine partnership reading. So let's find out everything we can about this soulmate or divine partnership that's coming in for you. What they're like, when it's going to happen, what it's going to be. I'm really excited to delve into this topic. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Luna, your Aura of starlight i channel messages from archangels star beings and highest light spirit guides for your greatest good i also read from the collective so please only take what resonates and leave the rest okay i have three cards for you to choose from today and three different readings now you may have messages in more than one group so if there's more than one card that calls to you go ahead and check that other reading out and see if you might have some messages there okay we our first card we have is the sun the sun the second card we have is the two of cups the third card we have is the king of swords and now let me go ahead and pick a few charms for you for each of these groups I'm going to pick a few just for you to help you pick your card, to pick your group, and then in the group I'll pick some more terms as well about your person. So let's see, for card number one, oh, let's do it again. Group number one. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got so many. An elephant. Ooh, a coin. An apple. A foot, a rose key, a little tiny uh, tri key, a little peace sign, a bee, and some grapes. That was a lot of charms. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a few less for group number two. Spirit, what do you have for group number two? Before this reading, I went ahead and cleansed um, with these beautiful smudge sticks that I have to cleanse away negative energy. I used burned sage and I called in the angels to hold this space. We have a lot for group number two, apparently as well. So <laughs> we have this little wing. It's like a bird wing or angel wing. We have a tree of life. We have a horse for action. We have a mermaid. She's like gazing at the sea. There is a cross, a little Christic cross with Jesus on it. There is a child. A clover, four leaf clover. Oh, that's some luck there. Okay, and a Pegasus in flight. Rising up, we have the Hansa sign. Hansa for protection. Um, and then we have this little heart key. And we have a fleur de lis, the French flower of life. That was way too many charms, you guys. Let's <laughs> let's see if we can get a few less for group number three. I don't know what's going on here today. What terms do you have for group number three? Okay, this is Wayless, thank you. Okay, we have a little tree, another tree. We have the little uh, bunnies and the cameo. We have a butterfly. We have another butterfly. So there's definitely twin flame imagery here if you resonate with anything like that. And we've got the little hearts 
together. So that's like three twin flame imageries and a kitty cat for independence. Independence and magic. Ooh, I'm not supposed to pass point those out. I forgot. Okay, and a little shell. Okay, so now we have lots of charms for each of the groups. I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, choose which group you would like. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And choose the card you're most drawn to. Again, you may have messages in multiple groups. But I will put the link below in the description. And I will see you in your group. Oh, and if you haven't already and you're enjoying my videos, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with new videos. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to grow my channel and share my light and love with the world, of which I am ever so grateful. I have links below in the description if you'd like to purchase any cards or you would like a personal reading or a link to my Manifest Frequency channel. Okay, the links will be below in the description and I'll see you in your group. Hello and welcome to group number one on your soulmate divine partnership reading. So for group number one, we have this beautiful sun card. We have a little foot, a peace sign, a coin, and it looks like somebody's holding up a fist on the coin like this. There's an apple. There's a little um, elephant for strength. There's a little chai key, a light worker bee a little grapes and this divine feminine key, this rose key. Okay, let me go ahead and tap in here. Group number one for your soulmate reading. Group number one, I feel your soulmate is, I feel like they're showing me uh, this orange light right and then they're showing me fire so i feel like they're very fiery and passionate the orange i'm feeling is like the solar um, not the solar plexus the sacral chakra the sacral chakra is um activated within them so i'm seeing this very fiery passionate love towards you is what i am seeing group number one and they are showing me the solar plexus too in this like they're showing me this tunnel where the flame becomes a tunnel. The flame could have some significance for you, group number one. And the flame is becoming a tunnel and it's taking them uh, along this path to you. And now I'm seeing a triangle. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here on the card. So yes, um, this is strength along your path. This is going to be refreshing and renewing for your soul and it's going to bring you peace. And with the footprints, I feel that is the walking along the path as you are walking along this path to each other. Now, one of you has this key to the divine feminine. This could be one or both of you, but this is a beautiful feminine nurturing that's going to be coming out of this relationship. It's going to unfold like a beautiful flower, I'm hearing, or help you unfold like a beautiful flower. And it's going to bring in abundance with these coins and these um, these grapes. It's going to bring abundance. I feel that you are both light workers and you're both very productive. So you're, this is a very productive relationship. This is a productive soulmate that is peaceful that is walking forward on their path. They're walking forward as this light worker, very productive. Um, they don't have to be a light worker. They could be just very productive, but they are doing God's work. This is a, this is a good person. Um, this is a good soulmate. They, they are very strong and they're going to, they have this renewal in their soul. So maybe they have a renewal that's going on right now that's bringing them to this abundance and peace. But they have this key of wisdom as well. So they are very, very intelligent. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards for group number one for your soulmate what came out first the king of swords oh i feel that your soulmate is just very intellectually strong i i feel that they have the capabilities of knowing right from wrong and which way to go they know how to cut off these energies that no longer serve them and they've been making a plan they've been making a plan heading off on this path and that's what's bringing in their abundance so they're very productive and they're very capable of creating their own reality and i feel that they are on their way to joy if they're not already very joyful 
they may be very joyful. I'm feeling some sort of seriousness right now, but uh, they may be very joyful if they're, maybe they're feeling a little serious right now, but they're moving towards joy. And the cards that came out is the chariot. So that's what they're moving towards, um, this joy, the three of cups. They're moving towards this, um, ooh, they're moving towards this mm, getting together with other people like them. So maybe they're working on bringing together a community. They could be working on bringing together a partnership um, in a business. I do feel that they are moving towards joy. They're, they're moving towards this community. Maybe it's the same community that you're moving towards. And they're showing me the bottom of the deck with the six of wands because they want to be able to share with the world. They want to be able to share their vision, their vision with the world. Let's see if we can get, I'm feeling these other tarot cards now. Great number one about your soulmate or it's a fine partnership. This definitely feels this is definitely a soulmate. This is definitely a soulmate. I feel like they may have been trapped in, I'm feeling like possibly at some point in the matrix. So may have been trapped in the matrix and there were like things keeping keep whatever they were. There was something that was keeping these tools away from them for their ability to move forward towards you on this path. But they are moving forward towards this abundance right now with this King of Pentacles. They may actually already be in this energy. So take this how it resonates um, and because you'll probably be meeting them soon. I'm just saying within the next few months I'm feeling um, they could already be on top of the world. I do feel like they've been making this plan to to share their vision. So they might not quite be to that uh, King of Pentacles yet, but either way, they are full of abundance. They really have this grounded energy, um, this intelligence and grounded energy and vision, a vision. And with the Queen of Swords came out at the same time. I've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords on here. So I really feel like you've been running along this, working along this path to get to them as well. Like you're rising above like you're rising above and I'll take this how it resonates if you're the divine masculine swap that with the divine feminine because I'm really feeling as these these are the divine masculine and this is the divine, divine feminine so just take that how it resonates but um the queen of swords has also been looking as well and I guess if you flop swap this around then you've both been looking for each other <laughs> so either way it should work you've both been looking for each other and using your higher intellect to get there because you're very, very highly intelligent and you know that you can find the right person is what they're telling me. They know that you can find this soulmate, you know they're out there. And I feel that this King of Pentacles has been building up this abundance. Uh, he's like, they're showing me on the top of the world as they're showing him on top of the antlers. So he can be like on top of the world. So he has everything to give to you, Divine Feminine. And I'm feeling right now, I'm itching the palm of my left hand. I don't know what that means, but um, that's interesting. When you, when you, is that letting go of money or, or giving money, uh, bringing money in, somebody giving you money? <laughs> One of those things, it definitely has to do with money, the whole palm itching thing. So there's something going on there, but there's definitely abundance. There's abundance going on with this soulmate. He is working towards abundance or he's already been building it. With the Seven of Cups, I feel like you've been daydreaming about this and maybe feeling a bit lost as to whom to choose, which way to go. You like, <laughs> they're showing me like at her pointing at the stars in the sky. Like, is this the right love? Is this, could it be this one? Maybe it's the, and then, and then after you point at it, you get a little pickup of their energy and you're like, ah, no, that wasn't it. I know, <laughs> I know that's not it. Right. So when you um, meet them, you will be able to know that their energy is, is the right one is what they are telling me. Um, they've got, I've got two other cards that came out at the same time with the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be able to nurture this into a beautiful relationship. And for for some of you, this could already be budding right now, the Soulmate or Divine Partnership, but you're going to be nurturing this beautiful relationship into a, uh, it's going to have this beautiful rooted energy in the earth. Um, and I feel like you're grounding this in right now. You're grounding it in right now. And the Two of Pentacles as well uh, came out because it's been a very hard path. So maybe you're doing some nurturing for yourself in this time um, and maybe you're going forward on a new path. So you could have been doing some nurturing going forward, uh, maybe, maybe in a different direction is what they're showing me. With this two of pentacles, there's been a lot of, it's been a lot of balance in your life to try to balance 
the inner and outer worlds is what they're telling me and they're showing me the balance of the divine masculine the divine feminine as well that this is going to bring balance to your relationships and balance uh it's going to help to lift you up and guide you on your way this soulmate that is coming in for you and they're showing me the bottom of the deck and look at the king of cups is at the bottom of the deck so there you go this king of cups uh this beautiful and he has um great emotional depth and great emotional stability depth of emotion depth of emotion stability and uh, a passionate deep passionate energy like i was feeling before deep deep passionate energy and right now they're showing me the ten of swords as you may have been having a hard time at figuring out the way to go there may have been um you may feel like you're kind of looking at a standstill and you're not sure which way to go but they're telling me um that the that the energy is going to come in. They want me to pull some of these Woodland Wardens cards. Where, where, uh, where, what's going on with this energy coming in? The spider and passion flower, creative ingenuity. Okay, so maybe they're using some creative ingenuity to get to you. I'm seeing the two passion flowers as a soothing. Um, it's, oh, they're showing me dreams. So dreams may be taking you there. You may dream about them. They may be dreaming about you. Um, and you may be working to get out of some sort of situation that has you feeling stagnant right now. You both may be working towards that. Using this creative ingenuity to get out of that situation, they're showing me the two right here towards partnership. And they're showing me the two passion flowers as these crown chakra activations, these these crowns. Oh, these chosen ones, your chosen ones. This could this is a divine partnership. Group number one, this is a divine partnership. Definitely, you are chosen ones, is what they are telling me. You were caught in this web before. But you are now beautiful, yet deadly, beautiful but dangerous, and they can't fuck with you anymore, and you're going in the right direction. You might be a little confused right now about the way to go, but this new information is going to be coming in soon. It's going to be taking you to the right to, in the right direction. There's some sort of ingenuity. You need to just have confidence, okay? Confidence on your creative path, whatever it is that you're creating, and I feel like they're creating something as well. But this confidence, they're showing me with this boar and pumpkin that it's bringing you to abundance. And they're, they're showing me this is the fall harvest, right? Like we're in the fall harvest. And this is harvesting your confidence. Your confidence that this soulmate, this divine partnership is coming through for you. Stay in your... Oh, they're showing me at the bottom of the deck. The peach and finch for romance definitely this beautiful romance coming in and i'm seeing three 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 but this is a beautiful romance have confidence in this romance with this king of cups they're showing me now um they're showing me now the bottom of the deck again of these woodland wardens here and there's the um XIX, like this XIX, they're showing me the mirrors, okay? So the mirrors, this divine partnership, this balance that's coming through, group number one of this beautiful soulmate divine partnership that's coming through for you. They're saying to use your intuition. The bat and hellebore, use your intuition to get you there. So don't worry maybe about making a decision or why this hasn't happened or why this hasn't come in or when are they coming in or what am I supposed to do or where am I supposed to go? Um, as I'm feeling this ten of swords energy, um, maybe uh, just get, stay and go with the flow. Um, do something to nurture yourself in the moment, to give yourself peace of mind and happiness, and um, stick with your intuition as you're going with the flow, and it's going to just gently lead you to this partnership, is what they're telling me. Just go with the flow and use your intuition. It's going to take you there. They're searching for you, too. You guys are bound to come together. It's a polarity thing and a... <laughs> What is it? Uh, it's like there's the magnets. They're showing me the magnets, like pulling together. Like you have to pull each other. You have to pull to each other. You're going to be pulled into each other's radius. This is definitely going to happen. So don't worry about the when and where. With the Queen of Cups, this is this beautiful love that you are going to. And the High Priestess, I feel. Um, I feel it now. Take this how it resonates. If you are the Divine Masculine, this is the Divine Feminine's energy coming through as she's standing in her power, waiting for you or heading towards you. I feel like you men are 
the divine masculine is heading towards the divine feminine so take that how it resonates um and then this divine if you are the divine feminine this is just sinning in your high priestess as uh, sin in your high priestess power because you've done all this work to go inside and and um connect to your higher self and to find your path and so now you're using they're showing me with this divination here so you could be a reader of some kind you could be an oracle you could have uh, psychic gifts they're showing me this divination of you using this with your intuition along your path as you're going along because it's taking you to love and it's taking you the ability to share this love it's going to be a beautiful a beautiful um loving romantic um emotional what are they showing me they're showing it's like motherly it's like comforting it's like wrapping you in this uh warm glow this warm glow like it's a completely different like a completely different um like a pocket dimension <laughs> that could completely different alter like an alternate reality when you were together is what's going to be happening so you're going to know the energy i meant to pull some of these archetype cards and i haven't let me go ahead and get some archetype cards for this soulmate group number one archetype card spirit for soulmates for group number one for this divine partnership these are not shuffling very well there we go Oh, <laughs> the queen, the queen, the one. Oh, wow, you guys, this is so exciting. The mirror, the mirror, and the flame. Wow, wow. For those of you that resonate as a twin flame, this is definitely that. Um, take that however it resonates. That journey is a little crazy, and I try not to use that. I don't like even using the term twin flame because it's been so abused. People use it to try to make people stay in karmic relationships that are unhealthy or have them like fixated on somebody that is not really their twin flame when the whole idea is to, um, to know that you are enough you are enough <laughs> and walk away from all of those other energies no matter who they're supposed to be you know <laughs> you are enough but this is this beautiful energy of this divine partnership so look at this the one this is the one you guys this is the one this is the mirror this is the mirror this is the flame you are you are the queen <laughs> the queen and the king and this is a divine partnership this is a beautifully divine chosen partnership that is coming in for you group number one i love this reading please let me know how it resonates with because i would love to hear from you below in the comments i just love hearing from you guys i'm i wasn't able to um do a reading on uh on um, usually i have one come out on saturday but i was sick y'all and i got um psych spiritually attacked and i had to put up but i'll tell you what that person that comes against me they are just oh they're gonna be ever so sorry because they did not know who i was and um they're definitely they're definitely gonna reap those rewards when the the when the uh, armies of angels come after them <laughs> and spirit beings for that mix up but we've got that all taken care of we sure do and I just I'm just so happy to be back and be able to share this uh, reading with you this is the one I was wanting to do for you before somebody tried to sap me of my energy for a few days but no worries I've got you I've got you man <laughs> your number <laughs> um okay so that was so great i just love this reading it was amazing i'm sending you guys all the light and love and i'll talk to you soon hello and welcome to group number two if you chose card number two you chose this beautiful two of cups card and it has a tree of life a pegasus in flight a heart key a fleur-de-lis a hansa symbol which is like that little hand and then it's got a wing, a four-leaf clover, and a mermaid. Let me go ahead and tap into this soulmate energy, our divine partnership for you, group number two. Group 
group number two, they show me they were showing me a bunch of blue light like rising up and I oh I see the Christic cross. I see this Christic cross within this uh soulmate. And also they're showing me the blue light which as is like <laughs> sorry, the words throat chakra activation as a throat chakra activation that's coming through. And there's bright light coming out, then they're showing me a moving forward towards the light the soulmate has moved towards the light maybe they were working through some stuff through their family lineage but they definitely are a light worker they are a light worker this soulmate they have worked through a lot i'm feeling that there's a lot of past lives there are a lot of past lives some christic past lives with this christ consciousness within them uh, they are a teacher a healer I'm, I'm hearing a master meditator. This could be from past lives, though. It doesn't have to be within this life. Um, yes, but I, and I'm swaying back and forth as I'm activating a kundalini rising. They could have their kundalini awakened. They could practice with that kundalini awakening. They could be getting downloads right now. They could be getting downloads about you, from what I'm hearing, um, that's helping to lead them in the right direction. They have been working on healing their inner child and they do have this tree of life and I feel like you guys have been together in many, many lives. They're showing me, they're showing me this togetherness on the card here and the twining of the two flowers as they grow together. So you guys have shared many, many lives together as you've gone through these cycles. And I'm feeling like from different uh, different systems as well, not just here on Earth. You were together in many different lifetimes and uh, all across the galaxy um, throughout this Earth school. You are divinely protected to bring you to this partnership, and you are you're this is you're going to be really lucky. You're going to feel really lucky to find them. You're going to feel really lucky to find them, and you guys have this key to love when you when you move together. They're mm, they're showing me the energies are coming through really strong for this group. There's a lot of them. I think there's a lot of people in this group. There's um, so this they're showing the coming together of the energies, and it feels really good. So this is the coming together of the two energies, uh, the divine masculine, the divine feminine. Um, take that however it resonates. I'm still swaying a little, y'all. Please don't mind. Um, so this is the energy that's flowing up through, um, through when you guys combine your energetic fields. It's going to create great power. It's going to be even more brilliant than you are and you were already so brilliant. So this is, uh, this is going to, it's going to flow this power out to the world. It's going to flow this energy, this electric energy out to the world. And you guys are earth angels. They're telling me you are earth angels. You came here for this purpose. So I'm saying this is definitely a divine partnership. This is definitely a divine partnership. You guys are both rising up right now to come together in this partnership. Um, and I'm feeling like a lot of you, it's to usher in the new earth because you're showing me how they're standing in front of, and they're showing me the background, like this is the new earth behind them and they're here to uh, raise the vibration, uh, to ground those frequencies in, to radiate out this light um, and share that light with the world. Now they're wanting me to pull some dragon cards, so let's see what's going on here. For group number two, okay, two dragon cards came out. It says... Orange gold dragon from Octurus opens you to knowledge for the golden age. Carry the energy of the future. Be a guiding light. So this is definitely what this partnership is for. Um, this is definitely to bring in this new golden age. This partnership is a divine partnership. They're showing me the, the dragon here with the staff. And they're showing me like this magician moment. And I don't know how this will resonate with you. But they're also showing me like a teaching of how you are the creator. And you can create. Um, and how you're up in this etheric space and you're creating like right like this like you're the dragon like you're the dragon creating uh creating your reality creating this magic um then they're showing you how to create and this is the new the new age a uh, new golden age coming in for you i'm getting really excited there's a lot of information coming through you guys just take this how it resonates um but this is definitely a golden age in this and in this group, there are some people that are going to the golden age. This is the divine partnership. So air and water dragon helps you connect to higher frequencies. So this is a high frequency partnership. 
Um, it says, trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, and be open to enlightenment. Express your inner song. So that's what I was feeling with that throat chakra activation is the expressing the inner song. So perhaps they're just now speaking their truth, or maybe they've been speaking it for a while, or maybe you're just speaking your truth. But this throat chakra activation of speaking the truth is actually what's going to magnetize this person to you. And it's helping you guys connect at a higher frequency because you're going to be speaking these higher frequencies and that's how you will know each other. They, you'll be uh, magnetized by each other's voices, I'm hearing. So that's really interesting. Um, take that how it resonates. That could be... Uh maybe not for everyone, but yes, inner song. So yes, the voice is going to be very, very important to this relationship. So the way they, the way they sound is really going to be do it for you, you guys. <laughs> it's really going to do it for you, the way they sound. Um, it's really going to turn you on. It's really going to electrify you. And it's going to take you out of these heavy energies. I just had three cards come out. I feel like maybe you've taken on too many burdens lately. Maybe you've taken on too, maybe they've taken on too many burdens. You both, you're a part, it's a duality. So you've taken on too many burdens when you're using this fiery energy, this uh, queen of wands energy to um, go towards this fiery path. So this is this passionate, the passionate energy that I'm feeling in both of you. Um, and this is the, the passionate energy in this partnership that you will be feeling once you meet this person. Maybe you're not feeling it now. Maybe you're not even interested, <laughs> but that's definitely, you're going to be feeling this fiery passion. And they're showing me this uh, there right now, before I even tell you about this, they're showing me the orange gold dragon from Octurus again. And um, there as the sacral chakra awakening, uh, taking them towards on this creative purpose. And and they're showing me Octurus, as in um, they could be from Octurus, or there's Octarians around them. There's some Octarian healing going on. Um, so there's definitely some Octarian healing going on in this group. But this is um, with the seven, um, seven of Cups. Make sure I'm reading that right. Seven of Cups. Um, and this is just, look at all these possibilities. You have all these possibilities to choose uh, which way you want to go. And I'm feeling with this, it's like both of you guys came in with all these alchemical potions too, right? And it's to get you out of this struggle. These abilities you have when you go inside, these things that you find within you, it helps you to relieve you of these burdens. To let go of these things that no longer serve you, just drop them. <laughs> Just drop them and continue walking up the hill, you know? <laughs> I mean, I, I admit sometimes you do have to carry one broom or two up that hill, but not all, not all, not all 10. Is that 10? <laughs> not all 10. You don't need all 10 of those. <laughs> you can drop some of them. You can drop some of those, uh, those, uh, wands there, guys. Um, you don't need all of them. You don't need to drag them all up the hill. So I don't know if <laughs> this is a message for somebody in particular, because I just felt that message come through like a, like a spirit guide. Oh, that was Siri. Siri was listening to me. I said spirit guide and Siri tried to find out what I wanted to, to say. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. Thank you for caring, but I'm good. Okay, now they want me to pull some Lunology cards, and I'm feeling I need to pull some Tarot cards. We have hardly pulled any Tarot cards for this group number two. I'm feeling super, I'm feeling, I think this, I'm feeling it up in my head, like it's made me dizzy and silly, um, like punch drunk with love, it's like, so I was feeling like the whole passion, and then um, I feel like it, I feel like this is, this, uh, this partnership is going to make you feel high, you're going to feel like really good when you're around each other, um, when you're in each other's arms, it's going to be, um, what is that, um, Alina Barra's song, um, uh, it's a, you make each other feel high. It's not coming to me right now, but that's definitely what I'm feeling, right? Okay. So it says meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So you guys are, um, Ooh, your hard work is paying off and prosperity lies ahead. So maybe you've been trying to get this, uh, to this partnership for a while. Um, they're telling you that your hard work is paying off. You are heading in the right direction. Um, letting go of these these energies, this too many burdens that maybe you took on, you are heading in the right direction with this speaking your truth, with this creating your own reality, and you are protected to take you to this partnership and prosperity lies ahead. And these are all new moons they're showing me. They're showing me all new moons with like the ultimate possibilities ahead. 
Um, this, as you're moving towards your abundance, as you're moving towards your blessings, you uh, as you're moving towards this partnership. Let's go ahead and get some more tarot cards. Because you're like hermiting right now. I feel like you're in this hermit energy. And I feel like um, maybe they are as well. They're in a hermit energy and they're meditating and contemplating. They're working their way to get to you. and Or maybe work towards this prosperity as well. And the other card that came out at the same time is this Ace of Wands. I feel like, ah, this creative ingenuity. Maybe while they are in this hermit mode, they are have they have this beautiful creative idea that they're working on uh, that's taking them to this prosperity. It's helping them to let go of these burdens, group number two. They keep flipping over and then flipping right back. Uh, yes, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. This is the Six of Cups. So I feel like you've been looking forward to this happy family. For some of you, I feel like you've already raised children. Like, And this is your time to have a, a relationship for yourself. This isn't going to be just for you. Um, so that's a, that's a message for some of you. Uh, for others of you, it's looking forward to this happy family ahead and this abundance. Oh, and the, I had three cards that come out. Now, one of them is the sun. So you could have some messages in group number one. But they're showing me this mirroring, this partnership, and that things were hidden. But this partnership is taking you to joy. So yeah, the, the joy was hidden behind a, like a like a little shadow. So maybe that was shadow work that you were both doing um, to get you to this joy, to bring you to the sun, to bring you to this partnership. Because there was like a loss, a whole, um, maybe you don't, you didn't know which way to go anymore. I, you just, you're not sure, like you just got stuck in this stagnant energy. And I want you to know that um, right now is just a time to rest. Right now is a time to rest group number two a uh, rest and replenish yourself and dream dream about the soulmate that's coming in for you dream let's see if we can get some archetype cards on this soulmate group number two i'm feeling some heavy energies maybe coming uh tr maybe maybe they were trying to attack your trust in this process uh, trust in this soulmate coming in and i want to reassure you that this is a this is a divine partnership you are divinely protected you were so protected and you were, you've got the luck to get you there. You were lucky. This is many, many lifetimes of work that you've been doing. You are divinely blessed. I just dropped my cards all over the floor. We're going to take the one that came through. Oh, they're showing me the thread. So this red thread of fate, this red string of fate may be important to you. It may be important on your journey as a symbol. But I'm showing as this thread of uh, you finding your way to each other as this thread of this partnership. It's the thread of this divine contract, divine union. Well, a card did come out, but it rolled all the way over to the door. So we're going to let that one be. <laughs> this is the nectar. The nectar. Ooh, it's taking you to the nectar. The thread is taking you to the nectar. Because before you were like in this empty room where you had all these possibilities on what to create and where to go. It was the void. Oh my gosh. So after we went through that ring of fire portal, there was this void. And in the void is this ultimate creating space. And possibly in this void, they were able to connect this thread to this divine partnership your your spirit team your spirit guides the angels and they're bringing in this soulmate they're taking you to this nectar with the ocean you both may have been feeling like you were underwater you may have been feeling um like at some point like you were drowning i'm hearing for both of you so it's like a, it's just like a familiar path like a similar path that you've taken before they're showing me uh, these energies that you had to come up out of the rise up out of the ocean but they're showing me this depth of emotion to you both and then they're showing me the river so that's what they were saying they were like rising up out of the ocean with the river so the river is the movement and they're showing me the horse here um the movement uh, the movement towards the goal. So now you're flowing. Now you're flowing along with the river. And the flow is taking you to, and they've got, I've got three more cards here for you. 
the father. Ooh, the father. So this is the divine partnership. It's taking you to the divine partnership and this connection with the divine, okay? They're showing me the pine tree here as meeting under the pine tree. This may have some significance um, for some of you. You could be identify as the remnant or a chosen one. Um, this is the remnant of God. This is the remnant of the uh, the children of Israel, the remnant, uh, the remnant, the chosen one, the, the remnant of the 144, the 144 that are light workers that are here. They're showing me the light in the dark and they're showing me the balance within you that you've had to come to to get to this partnership so to uh to do the shadow work um to go to the other side and um and to connect with god and both of you guys have had to do this to bring in this partnership they're showing me the two and they're telling me gemini and they're showing me the twins here okay and um this is the healer and heal thyself. So I'm healing here. I'm hearing healer, heal thyself. Um, but you are both healers, and you are healing in this time. That's taking you to this nectar. It's taking you, um, and this is actually activating your full self. This is activating your full potential within yourself, so that you are healed and activated completely when you get to this divine partnership, so that you guys can merge um, equally. So you can merge equally, um, and that is a beautiful, beautiful message. Um, for group number two, please let me know how it resonates with you because I would love to hear from you below in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get a, another reading out for you guys on on um, Friday, Saturday. I usually re I record on Friday and I put it on, on Saturday, but I was um, kind of spiritually attacked. I'm a little sick, but I'm, I don't worry, you guys. I am super divinely protected and they will completely regret ever doing anything like that to me. These uh, little petty false healers. <laughs> so um, just be careful out there, you guys. Keep your protections up. Keep yourself safe. I'm sending you all the light and love. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number three. If you chose card number three, you chose this beautiful King of Swords card. And it has this little cameo with the bunnies in it, which is like my number one soulmate, uh, twin flame contract sort of um, charm. <laughs> and then we've got the little tree. We've got two butterflies. We've got a shell. We've got the double hearts that are linked together. We've got the horse for action, the kitty from Magic Intuition, a little boy. And uh, we'll go ahead and let me go ahead and tap in for you for your soulmate or divine partnership, group number three. Group number three, they showed me a vortex right away. So this vortex within both of you, um, staying within your vortex, you may uh, identify with the law of attraction. It's hard to explain things while I'm channeling. So the vortex, stay within the vortex within you. You've both been staying within the vortex. Your partner is staying within the vortex. They are manifesting you as you are manifesting them. And I feel them going, ooh, they're going through a stargate. I feel them on in their Merkaba um, and heading towards you. Ooh, I feel them coming in fast. Group number Number three this is exciting so this is a this is definitely a divine contract group number three this is a soulmate this is a twin flame partnership however you want to say it I just like using the twin flame reference but it's the only words I know to use for that pathway um, they're definitely both connected to the tree of life there is a beautiful magic in this partnership there is a magic and independence and intuition so there's going to be an independence with both of you as in you're both going to be really um, I'm not sure, how, they're telling me independent together and I don't know what that is exactly, but they're showing me as like, a, as like, like you're one person and even when you're apart, you're not apart. And so that makes sense. So this is a beautiful, a beautiful partnership and you guys are both taking action towards each other right now. But I definitely feel like this soulmate is taking action towards you. This is going to nurture something within your soul. And this is, um, and I, and I'm not sure if either both of you, so I'm getting a couple of different messages. Um, one or both of you may be healing your inner child right now, or you've already, or you've already, uh, solidified this inner child healing. And I also feel that for some of you, this divine partnership, this twin flame is going to bring a union of a child. So will be a child in this union as well. 
Um, so that just take that how it resonates. Again, um, there's going to be a bunch of different people in this group. So uh, whether you feel you're going to have a divine child, that would probably be your clue. So let me go ahead and get some tarot cards for you. Group number three. I'm excited about this reading. This It felt very energized with the movement. The movement towards me. I forgot to go and retrieve my alchemy or my archetype card from the door. Oh, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. So we've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords on the table. And so I feel with this energy um, that this is divine and masculine and divine feminine. They're showing me that you guys are both using your intellect to get to each other. You're both highly intellectual, um, highly intelligent, um, keen intellect, very, very sharp wit wit you may be very witty um, but they're what they're showing me like this is this it's the same energetic field they're showing me that you have the same energetic field uh, that you are twins or a mirror with the uh the queen of swords and the king of swords that's a partnership right um with this seven of swords i feel like it's been a it's been a great struggle to get here and i feel like some of you are still um putting down your burdens so they've been struggling you've been struggling um right now i feel like they're putting down their burdens and um and coming through with this knight of swords energy so i feel like you've been struggling with these burdens and this soulmate is coming through with this knight of swords energy like a knight on a white horse sort of thing right nobody needs one of those guys but you know what i mean it's that beautiful energy of um thinking that they're coming they're coming to your rescue right you don't need to be rescued you don't need to be rescued, but they are coming because they know you need them. They know you need them. Because when your energy is combined, you're going to be so much stronger. And they're wanting to protect you. I feel it's a very protective energy with this Knight of Swords. And I feel like they've battled a lot of enemies, a battle off a lot of enemies to get to you. And they're also showing me with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, they're also showing me like with the, the child again, with the partnership. So for some of you, this is going to be a, a, a child that's going to come in or there is a child in this divine partnership. There will be. And, oh, the Page of Swords. So it's going to be like a family. So for some of you guys, you're going to have a whole family. You're going to have a whole happy, intelligent family. And, and oh, it's uh, the, the other two cards that came out at the same time is the Star and the Emperor. The Star and the Emperor. And what they're showing me is this, like, they were showing me the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords as both of your energies. And now it's the Star and the Emperor as both of your energies. So you're the Star and this is the Emperor coming in for you. And again, they're showing me um, as you're flowing out this energy, as you're flowing out this energy, that they are finding their way to you. That's a beautiful message. I'm terribly excited, you guys. This <laughs> This must be my group. <laughs> I'm terribly excited. So as you as you are the star flowing out this energy, flowing out and transmitting this information, and as it's flowing out, they are funding their way to you, this emperor, because he's already got it under control. He's already got everything underfoot, right? He has this extreme power and capability and ability to manage. And they're showing me the they're showing me a little dogging companion at his feet. Look, it's a little German shepherd. That's <laughs> so cute. So, but uh, so maybe he has an animal companion, or maybe animals are very special to him, or it could be the wolf spirit. Now they're showing me the antlers, so definitely a a, a stag, a stag energy here. It's definitely a stag, and they're showing me the gold now. Now they're showing me the gold. So this is going to be bringing abundance. They they definitely are going to help you flow in abundance, and you guys are going to be abundant together. And maybe they already have uh, great uh, wealth or abundance on this earth. Maybe they already have great power. They're showing me, uh, they're showing me this little scepter here. So take that how it resonates. It could be in the non-physical as well. Um, for some of you, this could be like a emperor in the non-physical. Now they want me to get some archetype cards. Let's see what we've got. We obviously don't need the ones that rolled all the way over to the door. <laughs> Spirit didn't want us to have those in the deck. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, it's the king, uh, the king, uh, this is the king coming through for you, this is your soulmate, this is your king of swords, queen of swords, this is the king, the emperor, this is, this is the one, this is, this is your, the king to your queen, this is, oh, a shapeshifter, so there may have been a shapeshifter that was actually 
posing as this king, you may have been confused. <laughs> so I'm just throwing that out there for some of you. There may be a, there may have been a shapeshifter that, and for the twin flame partnership, there could be a, there could have been a false twin flame or a what do you call it? A catalyst twin flame, a catalyst twin flame that's uh, to that looks like the partner but isn't the right one. They're just the one to get you to the level to get you to the right one. So um, take that how it resonates. But I feel like you have the ability to shape shift um, who you are and who you want to be. And I have, feel that you have the ability to change your reality. And I feel that your partner has this as well, this divine partner that's coming in. And I've got the mother here. So for those of you uh, that are, have the possibility of being a mother, this is definitely this uh, mothering energy that's going to come through in this partnership. But I feel with what they're telling me here that it's this a mothering energy within you. Uh, no matter how old you are, you have this beautiful mothering energy. And this is the king energy within them. And this is going to be uniting. And they're showing me the uniting of the crown chakras that you're both crowned, that you're both chosen both chosen oh my gosh and the seed so definitely okay so take this how it resonates but this is definitely a fruit um fertility no no it's a it's a fruition it is a abundance it is a fertility that's the word i was looking for a fertility i was thinking fruit and then i couldn't get to a fertility no that wasn't it right but <laughs> it's fertility there is a fertility to this partnership that's coming in a great fertility so you guys uh and i'm okay for some of these oh, there's lots of messages slow down guys okay so you guys both came in with this seed of the possibilities to get you to this abundance to get you to this partnership to grow what it was you needed to grow on the earth but i also feel with this this uh when you're coming together this coming together is creating a seed for something now take this how it resonates but i said the seed is a child the seed is a child the seed is a business the seed is an idea the seed is a book the seed is something that is um going to be the seed is uh the seed is creating your new reality you you guys are going to create something together you're going to create something together that is going to blossom into something incredible blossom into this tree they're showing me the tree from the seed you guys are going to create something that is far reaching that is far reaching and makes a huge difference okay this is the prayer and the animal and so the prayer i feel um that i feel that you have been praying for this um, I, you could have been you could have been praying when you were a child. This could have been something you prayed for as a child. Um, but I definitely feel that you have both been praying for this, and you've been looking at this. Um, and they're showing me the animal. Okay, so I've got a couple of different messages here. They're showing me the animalistic nature within others. Okay, as a something to stay away from. So what they were saying with the, the shape. So there's negative aspects and positive aspects of each of these cards. So that as the shapeshifter, whoever the shapeshifter was that was trying to pretend that they were this king, right? Um, and they had the they were have actually had the animal within. They hadn't really done the shadow work. That's what they're telling me. They hadn't done the shadow work, um, and it was a very animalistic nature, uh, with not a lot of higher thought process and. They're also telling me, um, as you, as you, um, that you are the shapeshifter and have the ability to uh, change your appearance, change who you are, change um, everything about yourself, but also this beautiful um, animal within. They're, and they're showing me a few different messages for this. So no, it's like a tame the animal within, right? And then it's like a, a doing the shadow work. It's going within. It's connecting to the fairies. It's connecting to the animals. Um, it is a lot. So this is a beautiful thing about you that they're showing me as well. And now I feel the need to pull some more tarot cards for group number three. Gosh, I hate it when the messages come through so fast and I, <laughs> I speak so fast it like makes my head, like it takes my head a minute to catch back up. It's like a little pause after. The star, so the star came out twice and I feel with this that you're both stars. And this is gonna be the seed of whatever it is that you're creating. You're gonna create something beautiful together. Is wishing, dreaming, hoping, and I want you to have hope that this is, I want you to have hope and faith that this is coming through, this beautiful love, this queen of cups, this nurturing, fulfilling, uh, strength of emotion love that's going to heal you. It's a beautiful soulmate partnership that's leading to abundance, that's leading to the king of pentacles, that's going to lead you to abundance. 
what other cards do you want me to pull from them? Uh, spirit for group number three. Ooh, some Woodland Wardens. Let's do that. So with the kitty cat, they're showing me the kitty cat again and, and when um, for the negative aspects of these cards. So again, there's negative and positive aspects of another person. And so just take that how it resonates and then with you as well. So, um, so what they're showing me is this kitty cat for independence with you. This is your independence uh, to, ooh, the, with the shape after they're showing me to move away from those masks, to, uh, to stop wearing the mask to be your true self. And, and, and you know, a mask is functional. I'm not saying to not use it all the time. It's just that you are, um, you're learning to shape shift exactly how you need to and when it is appropriate and when it needs to be used. And you're, uh, you're harnessing that animalistic nature within you to bring you to appendance, to independence. They're, they're showing me that it's giving you your instincts. And this connecting to the animals. To connecting to mother nature within you it's giving you the instinct uh, to follow your intuition and you've got this beautiful magic it's taking you to independence and they're also showing me with this uh this other person whoever this other person was for whoever that resonates with that this is independence from that person okay independence and the shapeshifters and the animals <laughs> so when you take that out where it resonates because you're moving away to freedom and you're using your intuition to take you there and I had three, uh, three of these woodland wardens come out for you. It says, the snail and huckleberry trust in the invisible. Well, that's a beautiful message of trust. I was saying to trust this, uh, to trust this, right? Trust this process. Trust that this soulmate is coming in. Um, and have determination. Uh, determination with the Ram and Dahlia. Have determination to this path, okay? Because this is the path you want to go on. This is the Emperor and the Star, the two stars, two stars, twins, twins. Um, because you may have been feeling some stagnation lately. With the Lizard and Pitcher plant, you may have been feeling some stagnation um, to, while you're trying to uh, separate yourself from these other energies, for some of you. But there's been some sort of stagnation, and maybe you're praying for this stagnation to um to dissipate right and this is some um some good luck coming through for you for that let me see what i've got about this stagnation because maybe you felt like you were just a little lost waiting like are they ever coming in um andragora mother find the secrets bidden in the brambles so they're wanting you to get to nature you may seek inspiration in twilight wanderings, possibly wandering around at night. <laughs> I'm connecting to Mother Earth. And the third one they gave me here. Away we fly. Take the cloud rose. Delight in your imagination. Okay. Okay. So what they're telling me is while this you're going through this stagnation, they want you to get outside and wander around. It doesn't matter where you're going or what you're doing. Um, find the hidden find things hidden so go hang out in nature go hang out in nature and um use your imagination to take you places use your imagination to take you places so in your imagination um you can imagine it's like visualization of where you want to go with like the law of attraction so that's what they're telling me this this visualization um your imagination of enjoying of enjoying things in the moment and going with the flow and using your imagination is going to help you through this time of stagnation because there's just a thing going on with the energies that need to be integrated right now. That's what they're telling me. It's like a, it feels like a pause. They're having me pull some of these uh, Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards now because this is regenerating you right now. Uh, you're regenerating from these uh these light codes that have just come through all this change that's like changing your dna this kind of ascension thing that's going on it's there's there was a huge uh wave another huge wave and um so there's lots of energies that your body is integrating right now there was another huge wave that came through a few days ago um so this is regenerating you as a survivor you are unparalleled no matter what happens you can adapt embrace your transformation put on your new cloak you are a master of regeneration so that's what's happening right now um because you are an old soul with a higher calling with the black jaguar and lion old soul with a higher calling Okay, and it says walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. 
And that's definitely what you're doing with this star power flowing out of you, creating your dreams right now. It may feel like there's some stagnation, but this is your determination to uh, flow along this path because you're regenerating this time. So connect to Mother Nature. Use your imagination and the law of attraction to get you there because you have a higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So these are noble choices that you're making right now. Whatever energies that you're moving away from to move towards this, uh, this partnership, this uh, divine partnership here. This incredible, because you are a, a old soul with a higher calling. This beautiful divine partnership, definitely a divine partnership. I wasn't sure if it was going to be soulmates or divine partnerships in this reading when I started, but it seemed like it was a divine partnership in every group. Again, let me know how it resonates with you because I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. I love hearing from you. You guys are great. I'm sending you all the light and love and I'll talk to you soon.